Like, I'm gonna drop this deck again. Like, I can't, I literally cannot even read this. I didn't hate it. Like, I don't love it. <laughs> I don't care about Norse mythology, really. February is upon us, or about to be. I don't know when this is going up. I have a lot of books to read in February and they are not short books. So I'm kind of nervous about it, but we'll make it happen, even though it's a short month. Oh God, I'm gonna drop this deck again. So I have 12 books that I'm reading um, in February. And um, full, this is my second time trying to film this video because my camera was all wonky the first time. And in the first time I filmed this video, I realized that the book that my patrons have chosen for me to read and vlog for them, this is my second time ordering the book. And I didn't notice this until I started filming the TBR video the first time. So the first copy they sent me, like the dust or the, the cover was like ripped. And so I was like, I need a replacement. And they sent me a replacement. And I didn't even look at this replacement. I was like, well, the cover's not ripped, so we're good to go. Um, but the pages aren't cut on it so it's just like like I can't I literally cannot even read this which doesn't bode well because a bunch of my patrons were like don't pick that don't vote for that she's gonna hate it uh, and then it won the poll so I think they just like want to see me suffer anyway the book in question um <laughs> is the historian by Elizabeth Kostova so these are all ill omens I'm afraid but I am reading this and I will send this back and get a copy that I can freaking read this is just such absolute bullshit after all this getting of copies. I hope I like it, plus it's pretty long. Um, but I have a feeling that the vlog for my patrons in February will be a ranty one. Maybe, maybe I'll love it and we'll all be surprised together. Next up, I have the uh, first book in the Fits in the Fool series, Fool's Assassin by Robin Hobb. Mara and I have made it to the last series of series in the Realm of the Elderlings and we're gonna read them back to back, no skipping months. Um, if you missed it, we did have a live chat talking about Rainwell Chronicles as well as the Realm of the Elderlings road so far. That was like about a week ago, depending on when this is going up. I'll leave that link down below if you missed it. It is spoilery for the series up to that point. And I'm very excited to read this last series that everyone says is such a like, OMG, wow, I have to reread the whole series now that I know this ending kind of thing. So like, I'm trying not to go in overhyped, but I mean, I'm pretty hyped. Plus these are the most stunning covers in all of the Realm of the Elderlings, at least in like this, this series of editions. They're also like oiled and shiny. <laughs> I'm excited. Next, I have the next Gaiman book in my year of Gaiman. If you missed it in my plans for 2023 video, I said I was going to do a year of Gaiman where I'm going to read 12 Gaiman books in 12 months, reading them in publication order. So in February, uh, I have Stardust, which is among my least favorite Gaiman books. That being said, I've only read it the one time. And my expectations for it were high slash wrong because I'd seen the movie already and I'd watched the movie many times and loved it. The book is quite different from the movie. So going in now, I'm hoping this is going to be kind of like Feast for Crows where the first time I read that I had like incorrect and overly high expectations for it. So rereading it last year or two years ago, whenever I reread Feast for Crows, I was like, actually, I really love this the second time. So I'm hoping now that my expectations will be better adjusted for this book that I'll do better the second time through with Stardust. At least it's short. So if I hate it again, at least it's not a long book. I, I didn't hate it. But I don't love it. <laughs> Next, I have The Subtle Knife by Philip Pullman. This is the second book in His Dark Materials. My patrons and I are doing a read along for His Dark Materials. Rereads all for me. Um, so we're on to the second book, The Subtle Knife. I'm very much looking forward to rereading this little book. Next up, I have a nonfiction book, and that is The Wolf Age by Tor Skagie. The Vikings, the Anglo-Saxons, and the battle for the North Sea Empire. As you may or may not know, I'm pretty into Vikings. But I'm into Vikings, not Norse mythology, which I think gets conflated a lot. People always assume that means I like Norse mythology. I don't. I don't hate Norse mythology. I just don't like mythology of any kind very much at all. North myth Norse mythology interests me insofar as it like informs how we understand Vikings and like what like made them tick, like why, what they believed and how that affected how they functioned. So in that sense, I like Norse mythology, but not like reading the stories. Like I don't care about Norse mythology, really. Uh, I like Neil Gaiman's retelling of Norse mythology, all right. Vikings, Viking history. Oh yeah, that's totally my jam. And I've had this on my wishlist for a long time. And then one of my patrons bought a copy for himself and I shamelessly was like, that's been on my wish list for forever. And he actually sent me a copy, which was very, very kind. Made me feel bad about seeing that. So we're gonna buddy read it as, as well as the, or along with a couple of my other patrons. Um, and I'm very much looking forward to reading Viking history. Next up, I have another read along going on on my Patreon. As I said in my plans video, we're doing Book of the New Sun read along for that. So in January, we read Shadow of the Torturer 
and this is the bind up so it's the same book physical book again but in February we are reading Claw of the Conciliator and gonna do a live chat for it so I'm very much looking forward to rereading these these are all rereads so far they will be new to me when we get to Citadel of the Autark then um this is I think on my TBR in February Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien which I have read before but my friend Heather who you may know from such projects as Hating for the Killing of Kings and Loving Shakespeare she wants to read Lord of the Rings and asked me to read it with her. Um, there were reads for me. She did just finish Hobbit, so I think she wants to start Fellowship in February, I think. There is another reason that we're reading these together that may or may not become known to you shortly. But yeah, um, I, I'm pro probably, most likely, reading this in February. <laughs> Next up is a book that is replacing a book that you might have expected to see. So if you're hoping to see Enemy of God by Bernard Cornwell on this TBR, you will be disappointed. I am not reading the rest of the Warlord Chronicles, at least not right now. Me, as well as several of my patrons, did not really care for The Winter King, which is the first book in the Warlord Chronicles. So I was like, well, I'm not going to continue a read along for a series that neither I nor most of you <laughs> seem to like. So I put up a poll asking if people wanted to continue with Warlord Chronicles because we're also reading his Dark Materials. So I was like, do you want to just like get rid of Warlord Chronicles and like just do his Dark Materials instead of doing both? But also around the same time, I was talking about how I, with my patrons, about how I've been having a hankering, just kind of craving to reread the Golden Wolf Saga by Linnea Heartsaker. And there was some interest in reading it. So then another option on the poll, I was like, option one, we could continue Warlord if y'all want to. Option two, no Warlord, just his Dark Materials. Option three, no Warlord and replace Warlord with Golden Wolf Saga. And by a hair, this beat out just doing his dark materials. So we're still doing his dark materials, but instead of reading the rest of Warlord, we're reading Golden Wolf Saga, which I have read before. And so I know I love it. I hope they like it too. If not, at least I'll be happy reading them. This is historical fiction, just like Warlord Chronicles. So it's, it's a good swapping out. This is Viking historical fiction. And I really, really enjoyed this the first time I read it. So I've just been craving reading it again. And I really hope that my patrons like it too. No pressure. <laughs> Next up is another read along. And that is Red Rising. And um, I do have some news, but not all news for you. So I mentioned in my 2023 plans and goals that this was happening. And then I'm co-hosting it with Angela from Literature Science Alliance. Well, now we are being joined also by Alex from Alex Nieve. So the three of us are hosting this read along. And I did mention giveaways. And so we've almost squared away all the details for that. Um, right now, it's looking like giveaways every month for a Red Rising pin, and then two giveaways, one at the end of each kind of trilogy, even though Lightbringer is not the end of the new trilogy, doing mugs for the at those points. And how it will work for entering is the details are still we're kind of working out, but it will be some form of like answering a prompt or a question or something during the live shows for this, possibly also on our discords maybe. And then Lee from Creatively Crafts, who is providing the materials for this giveaway, the pins and the mugs that she designs, she'll also post on Instagram about the giveaways and there will be some form, some way of entering there as well, like commenting or sharing or something like that. So I will post on my community tab once we have squared away all the details for it. So you will know where the first live show will be. We haven't decided that yet either. So I'll, once we have all the details completely ironed out, I will post on my community tab so you'll know. But in February for sure, we are reading Red Rising, chatting about it somewhere and giving a thing away in, in some way. So yeah. I get hype. Next up is another read along and that is the Witcher read along on chapter three podcast. As of the filming of this video, we have not yet had our live chat for the last wish. So I'm sure if this video is going up after that, I'm sure it went well. And if this video is going up before it, then go show up for it so that it does go well. <laughs> I really enjoyed rereading Last Wish and I'm looking forward to rereading Sword of Destiny, um, which we'll be chatting about on the last Tuesday of February. Um, these are all rereads for me. Um, this will be Bethany's first time reading Sword of Destiny. I am not like in any way being asked or paid to promote this, but these hardcover editions, like this illustrated edition of Sword of Destiny, like is legit so awesome. It is really awesome. If you've been eyeing them, I do recommend. The quality is really great. Just like the paper quality and the like binding of it is really good, but there's beautiful illustrations and it's like that buttery kind of, oh, these really are worth it. So um, if you are a fan of Witcher and you're looking at these, like I recommend. Next up is another read along. And that is the Five Warrior Angels trilogy, which uh, is being, the read along for it is being hosted by Aaron from Booked and Busy. As of the filming of this video, we have not yet had our chat about the first book, The Forgetting Moon. But in February, we are reading the second book, The Blackest Heart. And this book is even longer than the first one. This is like a thousand pages. And February is a short month. So I'm looking forward to chatting about both books with Aaron and reading the second one. Somehow I will find the time to do this. And last and possibly least is my book of the month club book from January. And that is Age of Vice by Deepti 
Kap Kapoor. Um, I picked this because uh, per, maybe justifiably, maybe unjustifiably. When I looked at the blurb, the thing that it most made me think of was the Greenbone Saga. I don't know if it will be at all like that in town. I mean, it, this is not fantasy, but it is about a crime family, I believe, in India. And it just gave me that, like, the same as like Peaky Blinders, that vibe of like a family and the like politics of family, politics of crime kind of thing with like a lot of action and intrigue. So I'm hoping this will be a hit with me. <laughs> We shall see. Book of the month is like very hit or miss, mostly miss. So here's hoping 2023 will be different. <laughs> Those are all the books that I'm reading for sure in February. I'm working on some blog projects and other stuff. <laughs> so whatever. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and feelings about the books I'll be reading if you're joining us for any of these read-alongs. Oh, also The Spider by Leo Carew. We will have a live for that probably in February. That read-along is not dead. It is just limping along at its own pace. So we will most likely be chatting about The Spider at some time in February. So stay tuned for that I may reread the spider again because why not but anyway okay those are all the books that I'm reading in February let me know your thoughts if you're joining us if you're looking forward to these if you hate all the books I'm gonna read whatever if you want to let me know if this video is on Saturdays other random times as well don't be Saturdays so like and subscribe join my patreon if you feel so inclined and I'll see you when I see you bye